This is a C. Jason podcast. My name is Kevin Yao, and I'm an internal medicine resident at Western University in London, Ontario. I will be talking to you today about our recent study titled Population-Based Cohort Study on the Risk of Acute Kidney Injury with Levetiracetam. Levetiracetam is a second-generation anti-epileptic drug, very commonly used for the treatment of epilepsy. Levetiracetam is often chosen for its favorable side effect profile compared to other anti-epileptic drugs. No previous kidney adverse events were found in randomized controlled trials. However, in 2016, the World Health Organization issued a report warning about the risk of acute kidney injury with levetiracetam use. Regulatory agencies in the United States, Canada, Europe, and Japan later issued recommendations regarding this risk. The current literature regarding acute kidney injury with levetiracetam use is limited to eight case reports. These reports have suggested acute interstitial nephritis, rhabdomyolysis, and an interaction with methotrexate as possible mechanisms. Therefore, we performed the first population-based cohort study to look into whether new levetiracetam use is associated with acute kidney injury in patients with epilepsy. We matched 3,980 new levetiracetam users to 7,960 non-users using linked population-based datasets in Ontario, Canada. We looked at acute kidney injury with new levetiracetam use at 30 days and 180 days as measured by hospital diagnostic codes. We found no association with new levetiracetam use and acute kidney injury using these diagnostic codes. In a subpopulation with laboratory values, we looked at changes in the concentration of serum creatinine and also found no association with acute kidney injury between users and non-users. In addition, we found no significant difference in secondary outcomes including rhabdomyolysis, the need for acute dialysis, and interstitial nephritis. Overall, we found no significant association with new levetiracetam use and acute kidney injury. Our results are reassuring, but still cannot exclude a very rare idiosyncratic effect. Thank you for listening. This podcast is copyrighted by the American Society of Nephrology, all rights reserved. All content in this podcast is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. This podcast should not be used in a medical emergency or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. Please consult your doctor or other qualified healthcare provider if you have any questions about any medical condition or before taking any drug, changing your diet, or commencing or discontinuing any course of treatment. Thank you for listening to this podcast of the American Society of Nephrology.